Welcome to Samuel Basile. He's from Kenya and uh, he's such a, a lovely man. He always send me nice photos from the ministry. And I love to see the native people in all the colorful dresses and the wonderful nature. And, uh, but also, how is the spiritual situation and how is everything moving in the ministry? Okay, to start uh, with, uh, I've started a Spring of Revival International here in, in Northern Kenya, Northern part of Kenya. And uh, mostly, I speak uh, Samburu, Maasai, and uh, Rendile language fluently. Also, Kiswahili and English is, is, is obvious. And the Lord has been blessed me this year. Surely, I have, I can testify that it has, it has been hand of God. Uh, most, most of the people who are uh, enriched have been enriched by the word of God since the gospel started. Uh, also, this year, I've, I've just uh, re uh, received that uh, Dr. Hans, and it, uh, it has been a very encouraging, even in teachings, helping me to teach also the leaders that we have we have in, in our churches, like uh, the, the branches that we started, uh, EG Springs of Revival International. And uh, in my heart, last year, I had a, a, a very big burden in my heart for the communities who are around and uh, far away from from these places. And, uh, and the Lord Jesus Christ has been uh, uh, reaching them, has been helping me to reach all. Uh, and most of them practice cultural. Even some goes to, uh, in, in terms of worshiping mountains, worshiping rivers, and uh, worshiping moon, practicing even FGM the, to these young ladies, and the, uh, others even poor liberations to their ancestors. And the, most of them have never been to school. So it has been a challenge for even other leaders, other people from uh, from down Kenya to come and uh, started teaching them because um, they, they speak um, much of my language, Eji Samburu, uh, Maasai, uh, Rendile, or also Jamus. They're just speaking those languages. So they, 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 don't, they don't know Kiswahili or English. But uh, currently, I've, I've even went to an extent of giving them audios so that they can, they can hear the word of God day and night. So even other... I can say that uh, also this year I manage and uh, we have started nine branches, Springs of Revival International in Samburu County and also in Masabit. Uh, these places uh, we have been uh, we have been started under the acacia tree and under the tree. We we have not uh, even building, but um, we, we we are doing under the tree. Uh, Doctor Hans has been receiving. A uh, beautiful pictures of uh, I think he said so uh, before we start, and uh, he has been receiving those pictures because uh, those those are the places that they can sit down and started worshiping. They have changed from the from the previous which which they were they were they were they were doing. I have I am also aiming to plant other churches in in Trukana, in Moyale and other places. Um, uh, the the Spring of Revival International next year. Will just uh, being get, getting enough roots, and also uh, I can just talk about the fusion and the plans for the next year. Yes, yes. So very interesting. Yeah. So we need a, a main center in in Samburu. In, I I have just been. It's been. Uh, it has been a burden to me that we should have a, a main center in. One of the places, G, uh, Sampur County, so that uh, our leaders will just have a a, 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 a main center where they, they can they can do trainings. While we are receiving the visitors, they can have a, a place to the, to learn or to stay. Uh, they can have their they, uh, they, they they can get to, uh, to, to know other places easily because they, they, can, they we have one of the places. So it, it, called, uh, it will be called our main center, uh, Springs of Revival International. And uh, next year also we, we have, we have, 
we have we, we can just planted a, a, a because now currently we have planted the churches so we need to the structures we, we need to to see how we can manage to put a shelter because uh, when during the rain season it has been it has been a, a, a tough for the for the pastors they are calling me each and every time pastor how can we go for a service and it is raining so they, they that that's one of the service they can just keep because of rain so we need to have our structures or buildings for worship because if, it, it, it is time to invest in the word of god also i would like also to visit the county government of the republic of county uh, of kenya to to register so that they can uh, they can see that we have the spring of revival international here in kenya also uh, so that when the dad, when that uh, dr hans comes in uh, there is no again or uh, it, it can just it is just looking like because he's the founder of the of this uh, springs of revival so he will just being seen it without without any because it is now registered also next year i will see if it, we can be able to start feeding program of this uh, the orphans and also people living with the disabilities and old age old age those those who are you know there's that some people who, who, who cannot even go to some places just I've, I've even been sending pictures to dr hans and he is he's receiving people uh, uh they, they can't walk others they can just stay so they can't they can't go and look for leaves they can't go and look for food they are just in their houses for god to provide but the lord has been good because they have survived even all those years. It is just the hand of God. And I can say that it's good. Also next year, uh, we have we have trainings. So we need a, uh, I, I, thank, very much, I thank God and also Dr. Hans and, and Michael. They have been teaching my my assistant pastors who are assisting me in, 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 in preaching this gospel. Uh, others even, uh, I'm, I'm going to an extent of even translating in into our own language because the, uh, the Michael angel has written uh, transported everything to to pdf so it is easier for me to to continue to continue just to, to do uh to, to to translate into our language so that these guys can get th that the word of god without even uh, without uh, being uh, uh without 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 uh, anything or without without getting it tough so uh, i was also looking i was also uh, one day talking with the uh, dr hans and then I, I was just asking can we have audios for this for these people like uh, memory cards or 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 the, that's a small radios that um, uh, are speaking the word of god you know the word of god is hearing by hearing Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. So we need this. We need the word of God. So we need them to have the the word. We need them to open each and every time they they open their radios and they listen. They they get yeah. to know the word of God. So also we are going to plan that because the Lord will open will open the doors. Uh, next year also, uh, I, the, this is the last day that I will see that I. Uh, I will also see how we can support our young pastors. The, uh, you know, you know, most of the most of the people I have in 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 the Springs of Revival that they are helping me to preach, they are young people. I thank God because of our brother who who who, who are with Doctor Hans that he is with 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 youth, and uh, most of my pastors are youth. The only I have two elders uh, who are I think they are above forties or. Yeah, 40 years. I, I, I can say it 40. Others are below. So I thank God because the Lord has been blessing them. Uh, and if you can uh, have something like motorcycle to have to be able to reach the, 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 the far villages so that they can able to, to, to take the word to, to those far away centers. And they, we, we can say that it is God. Okay, lastly, I can talk about uh, it is about. Uh, a uh, trip or i can say a uh, visit to my my brother my the doctor hans uh, is coming on 27th of the uh, 25th of this month 
uh, of next month let let me say it's Jan, uh, january so we have i have prepared it very much even the uh, other pastors have, have been excited they are they are excited to receive him they they need to see him because they are just seeing in the picture only you know if if you got just someone in the picture only you have never met uh, on, on one on one it is it can be uh, difficult so we are prepared for dr hans peter to to come and see and visit and see the this branches that we have started because he's the founder so he can uh, and also you know we are, I, i was one day pray, praying uh, i had a dream and uh, when i wake up i send a i send a message to him and told him that i have seen i've seen I, i god has shown me the uh, people many people you are preaching to many people and the the the, the branch is, is just even going higher and higher even to the, to the, to, to the whole world it is just even going and he is he's telling me even me i have have, have this i've just seen the, the the same the holy spirit has just guided so we we prayed and uh, i thank god because he, he has been uh, my mentor he has been praying for me in every situation uh, he has been standing with me also we are going to be having a training uh, i've just even uh, just sharing with him it you can I, i think i can call leaders and also uh, pastors uh, those who are uh, to come to one center we can have one center for three days training so that he can train and also teach them for three days uh, consecutively uh, we can have them in in one of the hotels uh, in in events if it, it, it can sambur it can be sambur county or marsabit county we can look one of them so i can just manage we, we can see how how the, you can see the budget and then we can fix and he will also have a, a, a big agenda because he will baptize with some many people here and also you can dedicate children you know most of the children here are not dedicated so we need him to dedicate children amen yes. and uh, yeah and uh, so so i can just say, say that this local leaders or or pastors who are who are helping me they are very excited they are they are even praying they they they, they, they need to see but uh, because of time you know is not allowed to uh, is is this time is squeezed because he, he can just be here up to 12 of this so and he need to see many places so i told him that um, whenever we we get time whenever we get uh, enough time we can visit uh, we can visit some well, almost even uh, those villages if you can you can be able we can visit all of them and if it is not enough because we can even transport those leaders to one of the center so that we can we can talk with them it he can know, know know them that where they come from and uh, i thank god because the lord has been faithful the lord has been with us we have been we have been quite uh, he has been pro- it has been protecting us in every corner even even in the roads while i'm i'm driving while i, I i'm just going it is it has been lord and i thank god because uh, he has been faithful yes yes and uh, because <clears> have <throat> it share because this is not like the africa we see uh, in the news when you see for us that living <clears throat> not in africa that uh, when we see when someone send me picture is pictures like i saw at the sunday school uh, about 50 years ago in norway when people living far out in the in the in the, in the bush out in the uh, in the fields and they are living still in in the mud huts or in the lead in huts covered or tents with lead uh, with skin and the people they are still uh, have the traditional clothes so it's so interesting to see the native and we has to understand that Samuel he is working in a, under very very bad condition he cannot take a boda boda he cannot take a taxi because the roads is so bad 
So it's so important that all of you, we really need to support travel to move on so we can reach out to all these uh, people all around because Jesus is saying that he can come back when all tribes, when all people have heard the gospel. And this is some of the people that have never heard the gospel. So I'm happy that we can work together. Amen. Amen. And we, Mom and I, we really look forward to come in, in to uh, and visit you for uh, and stand with you and try to look what more of you need because it's it's nice to speak on on, on Facebook or online teaching and or you look at pictures or movies about uh, a situation in, in around on the globe but when you really want to see and and find the way with the lord you has to go and, and see and smell and feel the heat feel the suffering on our own body because this is uh, when i see the picture from kenya and and from samuel up there it's like when in uh, many many years ago mom and i we were in the refugee camps in nepal with the mud hats and and people in living under very very bad condition yes so it, it's okay. very i really look forward to come and visit and be with you we really look mm -hmm. forward Amen. Especially when when we, we had the, the recently we had a drought. Mm, there, there is no rain. We had uh, we have not received rain for almost three years. People started stuffing, and they, I, I I think I've sent you those pictures. I, I've shared with you the other time that uh, people are dying of hunger. Most of them are so when even um, you go and and preach to them, they are telling you. That, uh, uh, where, where, that 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 Jesus that you are talking about is he bringing uh, food for us? Is he, uh, is he br bringing rain? So <laughs> you are you are telling him that yes, go, our God is God of mercy. So he will he will he will bring rain, and they have seen that there, there is floods everywhere now, the, and and it is in northern parts. It's not in in even other parts. It, it is just in northern, and we thank God because. He has been standing with the with the with, with the people so that the, these people will receive the gospel and and they can take to other places so that when we go uh, to heaven no one will say that I have never heard because when I even uh, I was I was uh, preaching to one of the Muslim and uh, and uh, I thank God because currently as we are speaking he is now a pastor and he is testifying I, he will be even in that training he will meet with you. Uh, and on one one because he was he was a sheikh I don't know I was he was even preaching in 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 the mosque but now he's preaching the word of God he's uh, he has been ordained even he's he's a reverend so I thank God because a place where the Lord is taking us uh, many people will will receive Christ and they will know and they will be saved and all of them will turn from their inquities or, or the, the, the bad ways because even the others are, are practicing uh, female, as, they, as I told you, the female genital, genital. So we can teach them, we can sit with them, we can pray with them and have a good time with them. Amen. Yeah, amen. And we, uh, my prayer is also that the Lord will pour out the living water in the same measure that the flood came. So it shall be a flood of the living water in these areas, in the spirit, mm -hmm. so that destroy all the devil's fortresses. And be with Amen. us in prayers about this. Be with us in, in also prayers, but also to supporting. Uh, all work in, in God, Samuel and all, they need seeds to do the work, to give out. And be a partner and also bring seeds. Uh, and, and some Samuel, and uh, they can move on uh, to evangelizing and to reach these areas that has been in so deep trouble in three years without rain. Now they have a terrible flood, and people they are more than ready to receive Jesus. So thank you so much, Samuel. I look forward to 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 come and visit you, and thank you so much for the wonderful report. It's really burning in my heart. 
Amen. Amen, Dad. Yeah.